know? I got those the Avengers, man. That's right. Everything that you've ever done to us, everything that you've done to the Lord's people, the Lord's gonna avenge you for it. All right? And then the ones of our own people that don't want that to happen, the Lord's gonna get them too. Yes. Because you for the affliction. Right quick. Good. Then I'm good. Good. There's a 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Yeah, it's a righteous thing with the most high to, to basically give payback to those that trouble you, man. Right. This devil troubled us since since the beginning, man. Yep, since the womb. Since the womb. He, been, he was giving us hell since the womb, man. We read the story of Jacob and Esau. You see that he, that we were born or struggling in, in, within our, our uh, foreign mother, Rebecca. Yep. Let me read this one right quick. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Yep. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Hey, who led the so-called black man and Hispanic man into slavery? It's common knowledge. Common knowledge. Who did that? What ain't common knowledge to you, you simple ass Negroes and Latinos, is that you still in captivity. Yep. You worse in captivity because you keep yourself here in captivity. You ain't even on the slavery chain no more. You ain't even you can you can go wherever you need to, but you always come back to the plantation. And when you leave, you're doing the bidding of what that devil wants you to do. Because you don't know righteousness. You don't know what it's like to be good no more. Because the Heavenly Father took his spirit from our our, our, our our wicked asses. That's what happened. And we were full of sin and iniquity. Let me read this one. Let me read this. No, let me finish that off. Uh, back at the top of verse 10. Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into slavery shall go into slavery. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Oh, man. This devil lives by that. Yep. He lived. He lives by. He was blessed with that. That was that was his ultimate blessing back on during the time of uh, uh, our forefather Isaac when he blessed us on his deathbed. He said Esau was going to uh, live by. He was going to get the blessing of the sword, man, yep. and the fatness of the earth. But the birthright and the promise went to us. That's right. You know? And yes, and we, this devil is still mad that he couldn't get that birthright. And yes, we did uh, supplant you to get it yep. to fulfill prophecy. But it was all through the will of the Father anyway. Yep. You know, so this devil he gonna use he gonna use that sword until it dissolve in his hand. Yep. That's how bad he he using that sword, until man. Until it's just a nub left, man. <laughs> he gonna get carpet tunnel with, with the sword, man. Yep. And he been, and he's using it on on, on, on on Jake, man. Yeah. He's using it on the world because he got the muscle for it right now. But he really making sure he get a steady dose of getting Jake with it. Yep. He making sure he's always done that. He's always done that. Yep. When they was worn between the when the back in the was that Greece? Back in Greece, like I say in the scriptures, when he's worn with the north and the south and worn all through there, he was still going into Israel, fucking up the Israelites. Yep. Just cause he could. Antiochus, man, that devil, man. Yep, just because he could. He said, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So he gonna go down by the same weapon that he lives by. Right. That's why when he created that missile, he didn't know why he created it, man. You know? But you don't know that you created that for your own destruction. That's, that's, that's your end, that's your destiny. That fiery ending that you're gonna that you're gonna have to suffer. The nuclear, that nuclear, thermonuclear destruction. Yep. And that's, those missiles get the firing off, man. And that's and that's where the Catholic Church uh, uh, twists up your idea of what hell is about. What it's gonna be? It's gonna be hell, which means the grave or Hades. You know, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be that fiery lake of fire. That lake of fire is gonna be. America surrounded by water, which is gonna make it look like a lake. It's gonna be fiery in the middle, and it's gonna be surrounded by uh, water. That's America. So it's gonna look like a lake in the midst of uh, water, or in the midst of a land. A fiery lake. A fiery lake. 
That's why I would describe that way. America is going to look like one uh, 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 American shapes, a uh, uh, North American cotton in shapes pool of lava. That's right. That's what it's going to look like. The flame with, and with smoke. With a bunch of smoke uh, uh, pouring up through the, through the atmosphere, man. That's right. That's what it's going to look like. Imagine the continent of North America, or should I say the USA, lit lit orange. Yep. Lit orange, man. Flickery, a flickering color. That's going to be America when those missiles hit. That's right. And this, and that, and then, and then. And every so-called white person that's here, are going to, they're going to suffer, man. You're going to burn. Your, 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 your flesh is going to consume away while you're standing on your feet. As well as you other nations, as well as two-thirds of the people of God's chosen nation, Israel. Yeah, two-thirds of our people, they're going to get that that's same treatment. Because that's they right. love you. And because they love you. And they hate the Heavenly Father. And they hate the Heavenly Father, they're going to suffer the same fate that you suffer. That's right. Thus says the The same Bible. judgment. Thus says the Lord, man. And I was gonna say uh, about that fiery lake and the misconception or the, or the, the, the misdepiction of what hell is because they, it's known that the devil lives here yep. in America, which fits America, which, uh, that, 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 fiery, that lake of fire is America and that's his land, America, where he dwells. So yeah, he is gonna be here, but he ain't gonna be here kicking it forever. He gonna burn up here and off the also, planet. Also the land of Israel. Yeah. Because that's, that's also where also the devil is at. Yep. You know? Parts of Europe, like especially England, man, where where where, uh, uh, where the bankers uh, control everything yep. at, man. Great Britain, the mother of this place. Yep. That's another uh, stronghold that got to be taken down, man, and wiped out. Right. And the Lord's gonna do it. Hey, this beast, as it says in Revelation, this beast that you that you that you don't know who it is, is a, is a system that's controlled by the so-called white man. They don't need you and all of those, those said uh, entities that make it up, right? The, 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 the church is the Vatican in Italy, right? The bank is in Great Britain. Yeah. The, the uh, vacation spot or the home is in Israel. And the, and the, and the, and the, and the troops or the, or, the, or the war part of it, your soldiers, your army is here in America. That's how the earth is controlled by everything, by the so-called white men through those uh, uh, places. The money and all of that, they own the diamond, uh, what's that called? Uh, yeah, the diamond, what's that, the West Bank, they own all of that stuff. They mad they didn't, they didn't make their uh, they land bigger. That's why they're fighting Palestine right now. We should have took the whole land of Israel, not just Judah's part. We're supposed to be the Jews. Go back to Salah. No, back in second. No, no, Salah, Salah. Revelation uh, 13 and 12. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. We hope and pray for this to go down. We hope and pray for the Ebola to take most of you people out. We hope and pray for martial law to come and round you people up, put you in a child concentration camp. We hope and pray for the two thirds to die, to get right in the kingdom of heaven. We hope and pray for the so-called white man to be destroyed off the face of the planet right. after he serves captivity and slavery, building up our the kingdom back to where it's supposed to be. The planet Earth is back to where it's supposed to be, along with the other nations. Then he can die off the face of the planet and be exterminated. So there's no more chance of wickedness to be on the face of the planet. Matter of fact, hold that right quick. Get, get Proverbs 16 to 4. Because he was created for the purpose that he's serving right now. And he's created for the purpose that he's going to serve when he's destroyed. Go ahead. Proverbs 16 to 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. All things are made for the Heavenly Father for himself, go. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Even the wicked who, we already said, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked for the day of evil. This is also the day of evil. So he was made for the day of evil. So in the day of righteousness, he ain't gonna be there. He can't be there in the day of righteousness. He was created to be the whipping stick and the sword of the Heavenly Father for this time now. To come down and have great wrath upon you. Job, Job chapter 21, verse 30, uh, starting at 29. Have ye not asked them that go by the way, and do ye not know their tokens, that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction? Uh-huh. The wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. There won't be another day like this. There'll be all these other wars, all these other bad times, but then, like, like now, this is the worst time ever. 
And when the Lord comes back, it's going to have been the worst time ever in earth history. In earth history. There is no more wicked time than what's coming. Not what's happened, but, but up until now what's happened and what's going to happen. So it says, they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Uh -huh. Who shall declare his way to his face? And who shall repay him what he hath done? Who shall repay? Only the Heavenly Father can, can, can create something to, to, comfort, to, uh, to rebalance the wickedness that he's put out on the earth. Only the Heavenly Father can come up with enough anger to, to, to destroy him off the face of the planet for the works that he's done. And that's, and this is, but it's a lot, let me start back at the top. It says, who shall declare his way to his face? Who to, God, what, what, are, what are we doing out here, man? Right. We putting up that mirror to your ass, man. We declaring your way right to you. And y'all hate when we do that, man. Y'all think we crazy for, for getting on you for the, all of the uh, wickedness that you do and have been doing. You got some damn nerve, man. You got some damn nerve. You, you don't want nobody to tell you how wicked you are. You don't like the mirror being pointed in That's your face. That's because of that pride that, that, you, that you have, man. The white man is the most proud, prideful man that, that, that lived, man. Right. That ever lived. This man got hella pride, man. Well, so I say he hated pride. You know? He exalted himself on, a, on another level, man. Can't no other nation say that, that they uh, went up into the, into the, uh, the, 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 the fucking, uh, heavens. the heavens, man. To space. To outer space. Can, can, can no other nation say that, man? Can no other nation say that they, they set up, uh, uh satellites and, and dishes and all that up there, man? Uh -huh. Can no other nation say that? As well as say they got embassies all over the planet. Nope. Damn near every country in the planet that got embassies as well. That's another proud statement of the white man.